Topping your local news at 530, Asian hate crime has been on the rise in our country and in our state really since the pandemic began. Today, Governor Hogan announced a program to help report and to reverse this rising trend. WMER 2 News' Don Harrison was with the governor today. We see you, we hear you, and we're here and we're standing with you. Jamie Sterling is the assistant state's attorney for Anne Arundel County. She is also the governor's daughter. Our first lady, Yumi Hogan, is the member of the advisory council for the Asian American Foundation. That brings the problem of Asian and Pacific Island abuse close to home for the governor. Actually, Jamie's idea to create this work group and Maryland's first lady has become a national and global voice, uh, bravely and forcefully speaking out about the crisis. The governor announced a series of proposals to fight the rising Asian Pacific Island hate crime in our state. The governor says they will focus on three main ideas. Enhanced safety and enforcement measures, uh, increased access to community resources, and additional tools for educators and students. Some of the money will go to police and victim groups, adding $1 million to provide devices with translation programs to police agencies and victim services groups. Asian American and Pacific Island crime is on the rise, and they say they know this because of modern technology. In today's day and age, uh, cell phone videos capture things that decades ago we could not have seen. And so uh, we have seen, since the beginning of the pandemic, very, very powerful video of victims, oftentimes elderly, in broad daylight, being attacked brutally and senselessly. Maryland State Police Commander Colonel Woodrow Jones III will work as a liaison on hate crimes and racially based incidents with various state agencies. Also, the Maryland Protecting Against Hate Crime group that helps to develop criminal justice and victim service strategies, information sharing, and knowledge transfer between law enforcement, victim services, and communities targeted for hate crimes will receive funding. The group will get $2 million. We will use every tool at our disposal to help provide additional protection to those who are impacted by these crimes. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.